get to this lifestyle. It's not the life I chose, it's the life that chose me. Been grinding. Been grinding, man. I had one year at Missouri State. After that, I was really trying to get my college career back going and it just wasn't happening. So that's when I made the decision follow my heart and chase my dream and control my own destiny. Four gold, three years of remaining eligibility that I had and I entered the 2012 draft and I decided to become a pro that day. I knew going into it, it was going to be a long shot. those who aspire and other than that I want to tell my story because I go hard I go hard for this if I'm just in the gym going hard nobody see it people got to see it and people got to know so you guys will find out who the real Xavier Jones is by watching this doc Work, work, baby, work. It's early. Sun ain't even out yet. 7:30 a.m. Work.
So how'd you think the workout went today? That was real, man. So what'd you take from it today? Mental, man. Quantum physics. That's what you that's what you call it, right? Yeah, quantum mechanics. Yeah, that shit real, man. Just being aware. We out here. Better basketball, man. Check him out. He the real deal. Better basketball. Don just having him more intensified. Intensify his training, his work ethic. As you see in a lot of the video, you know, he dipped, but then he stayed up to maintain it. And the whole idea was to work through being tired. And if you can work through the tiredness, you gotta achieve your goals. What I've learned is that you're the type of person that's a hard worker, disciplined to the drill, and that you're a go-getter. Meaning that if you put your mind to something, you can accomplish it. And that if you look at your quickness and everything that, that you do about your game, it is totally on point. And like I said, the only other piece that we just got to add a little bit more to is the intensity level of how hard you train. Because everybody can train by themselves, but at what intensity level? And that's better, you know, that's better than anything that you can ever do. So if you get a chance, check my boy out because he's off the chisnizzle. <laughs> Appreciate that, my yeah. man. Because knew he was raising a little star, you know what I mean? So he said, I'm gonna lay the wood floors out for it. So every day, Xavier, there, you hey, know, he, dribbling he the ball, the gym early, doing man. all. Every, yeah, man, because he was I'm, always able to practice. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm serious. He was always able to practice, right? We'd be eating breakfast and stuff because I remember <laughs> they called her Granny. That was my great auntie, you yeah. know what I'm saying? So I got into calling her granny and stuff like that too. Yeah. But look what she'll do. She'll make like grits, eggs, either bacon or ham, biscuits, <laughs> orange juice. It's like six, seven in the morning, baby. <laughs> That? <laughs> Who's eating like that? Nobody. <laughs> Nobody eating like that. But us. Yeah, we was eating good, man. Extremely <laughs> well. You cannot be getting on the bus on the five. Uh, Fremont. <laughs> Going downtown, right? Pull them off. Or I can fall asleep. But then on the way back. I may stop at the Skyway or Augie or something, you know what I'm saying, before I get home. Get back, man. It would be gravy. It would be rolls. <laughs> it would be a mac and cheese. It would be dressing. <laughs> it would be chicken. It's there. It's ready. It's like, bug. it's on the... You coming in it is. I mean, you know, you just taking off shoes. This ain't no once a day. This regular. Yeah, that's right. It, it was. It was getting spit out. This is all the time. You know what I'm saying? This is how you live, man. Ain't, Ain't nothing no like women it. like that no Ain't more. nobody like that. Ain't nobody like that, man. I can't. You can't make. You can't mash down five women to make one of them. You can't. You can't mash down five Beverly Hills, New Jersey, Orange County housewives to make one of my grannies. Because I know good and well, they ain't doing it like that no more, man. Mm. And that's just how it was, straight up. And I missed them kind of times with her. You know, she'll go fishing. She had her little Ford. I think it was like a little temple or Taurus and shit, you know. <laughs> she had a little hat, bing, this stuff, you know. She still wearing a little stuff cock, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Handle a little bit. But I remember them when I was a real little, little kid, you know. Just like in the country, man. And like how they looked after me and just was always genuine. And like a lot of people don't get a chance to live with their older ancestors. You they know what still I'm here though, they still here. They're still here, you know what I'm saying? They they just get to live with the newbies, you know, the newbies or whatever it is. And I didn't, I didn't get a chance to go through that. I got a chance to live with some veterans and stuff, you know? Yeah. They really laced my boots up tight. It, it, it told me don't observe the clouds. You know what I'm saying? Because those are always changing, man. Just straight up. So, you know, I, I stay planted all ten toes all the time. <laughs> it don't matter what's going on. You can say, y'all, we finna put y'all out. 
Right. It won't be the night. Right. So we gonna sit here, do we gonna do? Right. We gonna chill. We gonna enjoy ourselves. We not gonna let that foolishness bother us. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because when you got plans, you got plans, man. And that's just what it is. What's for you is for you. <laughs>